Hey guys, Joey Shanks here once again. And this week's episode is gonna deal with creating star fields with dust. Now I know I covered this in my Creating the Cosmos episodes, but I realized I haven't really showed you guys a much simpler way to do it that's really easy, cheap, and you really could set it up and make a star field in like five minutes. So let's go over those steps. Now really, all you're gonna need is a plate of glass, some sort of container that's, oh, six inches deep, a little bit more, a little bit less will still work, and you're going to make the inside black. For this, I just used gaffer's tape, and it's nice when it just sits perfectly on top, like so. And another thing you're gonna need is a small flashlight or some sort of light that puts out a narrow beam. So I'm gonna use my trusty coast headlamp here that I almost use for everything. Uh, with a couple clamps, I clamped it up, and then I put it on a little cheap little ball head mount just for fine tuning. The camera, it works best if you position it from up above looking down, but we'll get to that in a second. So with my light right here, I'm gonna turn it on and we just want to get the light right where it's perfectly parallel with the glass and you'll even see it right when you get it right, really illuminate all those dust particles. You can play with it a little bit, but what you wanna do is you want to have the light hitting it where it's illuminating the glass, but also not illuminating the bottom of the container that's supporting the glass. And if I'm looking through here on my monitor, I'm still seeing some reflections from my lens right there. And also there's a light up top there that we can see. You still probably need to get rid of a lot of this natural ambient light. So what I have are some cardboard cutouts that I then painted black for the windows. Put over this window and then this one over here. And as you can see already, that's definitely helping out. And those are starting to look like stars. So I think if we dim this guy down, that will help out quite a bit. And there we go. That's starting to look like a star field. You want your stars to look spherical and not, not too long. You don't want to see hairs. But also, I, I think sometimes when the stars are actually not perfect and you see actually some imperfections from this piece of glass, I think it actually makes the shot. But still, I would clean your glass pretty good. And where I got this glass is actually just out of a, what does it look like, a, an eight by 12 picture frame. You can get these, you know, $5. And I would avoid using acrylic or any kind of plastic-like material because it scratches a lot easier. And it's okay if you don't get it perfect because sometimes the smudges could even be illuminated almost like they're nebula or something. So, and probably just have to change lenses because we're on the wide here. So let's change lenses. And this looks pretty good. And sometimes you can give it a little wipe. And if you want to get rid of just kind of certain ones that you're not liking, if you want more minimalistic, you can just kind of blow them away. What maybe it looks like we need is some more dust particles. So the way I do dust is my famous paper towel technique. Another Karate Kid reference. All right, so we got those there. Now that looks a little obsessive and a lot of them aren't necessarily spherical stars. That's okay. We got a little blower here kind of blow all the excess stuff that doesn't really count. Like I said, not all of them are spherical and really precisely round, but I, I think that's good. I kind of like the way that looks. Now, if you guys aren't comfortable mounting your camera with two C-stands going straight down, you can still shoot it, you know, with a tripod looking down and it'll still get good results. But if you want to do it, you know, a classical way, which is a lot safer, I have some putty here, but we could just take two kind of balls of putty here, put them on each end, just so it tilts a little bit more at an angle to help sell the shot a little bit better. Now let's see what this looks like. 
We have our star here, stars here. Now, as you can see, yeah, there's the depth of field. You can see that it does have a little bit of a shallow depth of field. Because usually when you're looking at space, all those stars are so far out there, everything's in focus. But we can give a, a few little, hit that with the brush a little bit. With our air blower. And there we go. I actually think that looks pretty good. So that's how you make a star field with a flashlight, plate of glass, and your camera. Now it's so easy to go online and find an image of, of a star backdrop and throw that in your shot, but this way it's a lot more hands-on, it looks cooler, and it's going to give you a much more original and fresh look to your composite. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Have a good one. Later.